Well, guys, I did it again. I completely screwed up the budget, this time because of Christmas. This one was all me. As the nerd in the family, I'm in charge of maintaining the budget and this was a maintenance issue. If you're new to my channel, I'm Wendy Valencia and on this channel, we talk about doing hard things with a sense of humor. So oh guys, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any fun. I'm dying to know how everybody did with their Christmas budget, so drop me a note down below and let me know. This is getting to be a regular, like monthly, I screwed up the budget series. And I don't know that I'm okay with that, but you know, it is what it is. And I'm nothing if I'm not honest. So I'm just gonna update you as truthfully as I can. Yeah, I know if we had had a sinking fund for Christmas, this wouldn't have been a problem. I get it, lesson learned. So I'm not really sure how I did this. I mean, <sighs> A budget with a calendar and the calendar lets me know when things are due so I always have money in the account but yeah the calendar is exactly where I screwed up Christmas gifts were cash flowed into December's budget I kind of forgot writing buying the Christmas gifts on the calendar but I knew it had to be done so they were in there I just forgot to put it on the calendar and as everybody knows, here in the Valencia household, we work on the Dave Ramsey recommended zero-based budget where every dollar has a name and you assign every cent of incoming to something. Sure, we can move some things around if we're like over in one category or under in another category, but for the most part, there's little flexibility in our budget, especially when there are major purchases involved. And as always, at the end of the month, in a zero-based budget, there's nothing left. Sort of. Mauricio is paid hourly, and 100% of his income is dependent on how many hours he works. So what Mauricio earns is actually ever-changing. Some months he might earn $3,000, some months $6,000. And because I am so type A and I need to know exactly how much we have coming in, I cannot deal with the stress of budgeting an irregular income on a zero-based budget every month, not knowing when I'm planning at the beginning of the month. We decided that since he is earning hourly, he would earn his monthly salary in one month and we'd put it you know, set it aside and then that would be his income for the next month. So for example, the money he earned in November is what we use to pay December's bills. So his entire month's salary is ready on day one of the month. Basically what happens is his paychecks get deposited into a savings account and on the first of the month, bam, they go into our checking account. This actually works really well for us because 75% of our bills come in within the first 10 days. Okay, hang tight, because this is about to get really confusing. Well, we budget ahead one month for Mauricio. I'm salaried, so my paycheck is the same every time it comes in. Of course, the goal would ultimately be have my paycheck come in and it would be for next month, but that's a goal and it's not a goal we have right now. So basically as my pay comes in, it goes out. I'm paid bi-weekly, so that is um, being paid every two weeks and it totals up to 26 paychecks in a year. And if you do the math out, that means two months out of the year I get three paychecks. And you would think that that extra paycheck those two months of the year would be awesome. But I kid you not, those two paychecks screw me up every single time every single time without fail it screws up my budget and i don't understand why because i should have more money i should have more money coming in so yeah that should be awesome for whatever reason that's not the way the way things end up so because we didn't have sinking funds for christmas we decided to use that third paycheck for christmas and that third paycheck covers well over what we needed for Christmas. In fact, half of the paycheck was pretty much our Christmas budget. But what I didn't factor into the budget was the timing of this paycheck. And the timing of the paycheck is major, major. Cause the third paycheck doesn't come until December 31st. 
little bit too late to buy Christmas presents, especially if the other two paychecks are paying bills. So that leaves me going, hmm, how am I gonna pay for these Christmas presents? And like I said, since 75% of our bills come out in the first 10 days, you throw in, you know, another half a paycheck worth of Christmas presents into the mix, and um, you're coming pretty dang close to overdrafting your bank account. And in fact, I would have overdrafted my bank account had I not caught it before I transferred one of my payments. And you would have thought I would have caught on to this by now because this has happened every Christmas for the last five years. Five. I mean, how often do I have to make the same mistake and not make changes? 2017, the year I fixed this problem. But like I said, because I keep track of my budget so closely with every dollar and I'm checking it daily, I was able to realize what I had done before I overdrafted the bank account. So since we are way ahead on one of our loans, thanks Dave Ramsey, I was able to not make one of the scheduled payments. I stopped it and um, basically I'm gonna make that payment but not until the 31st till I get paid um, with that third paycheck and then I'll make two payments with that third paycheck. So really nothing changed. It was just me shifting things around, but we did come within millimeters of overdrafting our checking account. So phew, crisis averted. So next year we're going to have those sinking funds in place and we're not going to have this issue ever again. I am so over stressing about screwing up my budget. I'm just done. I, I don't understand why every month, I mean, it's been what, eight months since we've been on this program. And you would think by now I would have figured out how it works and not keep screwing everything up. But every month I find something new to screw up. I'm gonna film this segment under our debt payoff chart. Look how big that is. Look at that, it just goes on forever. Debt payoff charts are supposed to be motivating, but sometimes I look at this one and I'm like, oh, we have so, so far to go. All right, I have to go clean out the hot tub now. So I could have filmed while I was cleaning out the hot tub, but that would have been horrible for y'all to watch. So anyway, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.